guys, Nando, back with one more video. And this is a final review on the Apple AirPods. Hopefully, this video encompasses everything that you guys need to know if you're considering buying the Apple AirPods. Now, in a previous video, I talked about battery life on the Apple AirPods, which I think are fantastic in the battery life department. Battery life, when it comes to a product like headphones and earbuds, is extremely important because it dictates how long you're gonna be able to enjoy the content that you're listening to. Obviously, if the battery life sucks, you have to reach for your cord, you have to reach for proprietary chargers, and that becomes a nuisance, that becomes super annoying. For one, the actual case that the AirPods go inside allows your AirPods to charge while inside of it. And once you put them in, you should expect a quick charge that's gonna last an hour to two hours in a short five to 15 minute range of charging. Now, once you charge the actual case up to full and your AirPods themselves inside are also full, you can expect your case to give you another additional 24 hours according to Apple. Now, real world usage, if you haven't watched my previous video on the battery life, a full 100% charge case with one hour, one hour and a half of AirPod usage per day should last you about a full week. That's what I've gotten, that's been my experience with the Apple AirPods. So guys, battery life is a non-issue. If you thought that was something that was gonna keep you from enjoying your AirPods, don't worry about it, totally fine. The second thing that I need you guys to know when considering buying the Apple AirPods is the fact that if you have an iPhone, you're obviously going to enjoy and actually utilize all the features and functions of the Apple AirPod to its full potential. What I mean by that is the fact that you can pause and play by just removing one earbud out of your ear while you're listening to music or watching a video, whatever it is that you're doing, the fact that you can double tap to access Siri, those are features exclusive to iPhones. Lately, I've been using these with my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and they are not worth it. I'll leave that for another video, but they're not worth it. When I take one out, music doesn't stop. When I double tap, I can only play or pause the music. I can't access, uh, you know, OK Google or anything like that. Um, and that's it. On top of that, when you're actually listening to music on a non-Apple device, let's just assume it's an iPhone on a non-iPhone, you're going to really have to increase the volume on that device high enough to actually hear the volume. On my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, the volume rocker was almost all the way pushed to the top so that I could barely get any music and that to me is just unacceptable. That's why I decided that these AirPods are just not something that I can use with something that's not Apple related. Now, on top of that, when you guys are actually utilizing your Apple AirPods, you need to keep in mind that one, they only fit one size. There are no tops or things that you can put over it or fins or other sizes, small, medium, large, like you get with your typical earbuds. That's been something that obviously people have discussed. So if your typical Apple earbud that comes with your iPhone fits your ear, then these are gonna fit your ear. If they don't fit your ear, then these are probably not going to fit your ear. But with that being said, that doesn't necessarily mean that these are gonna fall out of your ear as easily as, for example, the Apple earbuds or ear pods, however they call it, that come with the iPhone or your other typical wired in earbuds. The reason being, once you remove the cord, you don't actually have something that's going to tug and pull on the earbuds and that's gonna limit a lot of frustration. My usage with these AirPods, I use them inside the workplace during my breaks, lunch, on my commute to and from work and around the house. So I'm constantly just putting one in, walking about, coming back, walking about, and they have not fallen out. I have gone for walks with these, so I have been sweating a little bit. They don't fall out. Now, I'm not, they're obviously not sweat proof. They're obviously not made for working out. But if you do get a little sweaty, and if you do go outside, they shouldn't be an issue with coming out of your ear. But keep in mind that if you do want to make them fit and they don't already fit because they're too big, obviously you can't remove anything to make them smaller. And if they're too small, you can't add anything to it to make them bigger. There might be third party uh, companies out there that have made accessories for it. I do know that you can find some cores that allow you to hang them over your neck like other typical wireless or Bluetooth earbuds. 
Another big thing about these ear pods or air pods like Apple likes to call them is the fact that once you're using them, okay, this is something that affects everybody. Your ears get wax. Can't do anything about that. But when you're using these, the actual speaker grill that's on the AirPod will collect any kind of grime or sweat or ear wax that your ear produces. And the problem with that is the little grill kind of acts as a little pouch that keeps everything inside. If you're using any normal earbud, then you have the little plastic or the little rubber that goes around it, the little nib that's gonna allow you to make them bigger or smaller to fit on your ear. And if those get dirty, you can remove that and wash that off, dry them, then put them back on your earbud. You can't do that with something like the Apple AirPod. So you do have to be careful with that. I, for one, when I finished using it for a week, I looked at these and I noticed I had a little bit of sweat uh, residue that had uh, you know caught up inside and it was very difficult to get out. I had to get like a really thin little piece of uh, you know a Q-tip or a napkin and just kind of dab around that. Because I, I envision that if someone just forgets to look at these, and just use them day in and day out for a week, two, three, four weeks, you're probably gonna have a lack of quality or reduced quality over time because of that buildup of dirt, of grime, bacteria, etc. that's gonna stay there. And I don't think that that's gonna be actually good for your health or your ear, so do keep that in mind when deciding whether the Apple AirPods are for you. Now, with all those things being said, do I recommend the Apple AirPods? If you use an iPhone, yes, absolutely. If you're invested in the Apple ecosystem, absolutely. The fact that you can pair these so seamlessly with your iPhone thanks to the W1 chip, the fact that once you have them attached to your iPhone, if you have any other Apple product and they're enabled on iCloud, you can just go from iPhone to Mac to iPad to MacBook Pro. I, for one, have utilized these seamlessly switching between my iPhone 7 Plus to my MacBook Pro Touch Bar back to my iPad Pro, and on top of that, with my Apple Watch. So if you are invested in the Apple ecosystem, then absolutely consider buying these Apple AirPods. I know they're difficult to find right now, but they work great. There's no issues. The sound quality, in my opinion, is very good. It's actually a little louder than the ones that come with the iPhone. It's not like you're gonna be blown away by some high quality actual audiophile uh, headphones or Bluetooth, uh, earbuds, etc. but they, do produce better quality than what I expected, and the functions and the uh, convenience of being able to just keep one in your ear or both in your ear, removing one to pause, put one back in, the range is phenomenal. In my workplace, I've kept my phone at my desk and been able to walk all the way down the hall around into the lunch uh, into the lunchroom, so that has multiple walls in between, um, and I believe it's at least 200 to 300 feet away and I have had no loss in quality, I've had no stuttering, no lag, none of that. So I can highly recommend these if you are in the Apple ecosystem. And if you aren't and all you are is an iPhone user, um, I think that the functionality and the features that these provide um, is something that you're actually going to enjoy. Keep in mind that they are small, you probably will lose them, you will at least misplace them. I've already misplaced them, but Apple does provide the Find My iPhone app for your AirPods, so at least you can kind of try to, tr you know, track them to a degree. Other than that, like I said, they work great if you have an iPhone. They work even better if you're invested in the Apple ecosystem. If you're an Android user or user of other devices, non-Apple, look elsewhere. You're going to spend $179 on this. I mean, you can get so much better for the price or even less. Or if you obviously want to spend a little more, that's going to work even better between both sides of the fences. That's really it. Um, Great product by Apple. I was very, very surprised. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you're considering buying the Apple AirPods, give a thumbs up. Please subscribe or consider subscribing to this channel. I will be doing comparisons between this and the Jaybird uh, X3s that I just got. I also will be doing comparisons between my iPhone 7 Plus and the Galaxy S8 Plus here shortly as well and other products that come down the line. I enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It's Nando. Peace.